and they're driving it and they're headed right for the iceberg and they're saying this is an unsinkable ship we're an indomitable species we can't sink we'll always find a way out this is this is our nature this is what they say when the Titanic left it was declared the unsinkable ship if you do that Allah will sink it just to spite it you can't do that when they made the challenger now you know challenger mean in Arabic mutahaddi it's a very bad word who are they challenging they're sending it off into space who are you challenging challenging who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala well look what happened he'll just blow you up that's what Allah will do literally just blow you up and then they say oh it's a, a tragedy the seventh grade teacher riding on raw technology they put a seventh grade teacher into raw technology thinking that they're qadirin alayha hatta dhanna ahluha annuhum qadirun alayha they thought the people they'll, they'll become so deluded Allah says in Surah Yunus they will become so deluded that they think they're all powerful over the earth right so they take off on the challenger Allah they, you want to call it challenger we'll see how long the challenge lasts like the the user on Yawm Qiyamah the, the, Allah says he declares war and his messenger on usury on Yawm Qiyamah in the hadith the user the banker right the banker Lloyd's Bank all these characters they're going to be put in front of Allah Bank of America City Corps Chase Manhattan World Bank they'll all be given their swords by the angels and then the angel will say here's your Lord now go to war and how long are they going to last they're going to slit their own throats Ya laytani kuntu turaba oh would that I was dust the Prophet ﷺ saw them on the Isra and Mi'raj drinking blood in a river because that's the manifestation of the reality of their acts. The sensible world of dunya becomes the intelligible world of akhirah. The meanings become manifest and this is the nature, this is what we know. We know the reality, they don't know it. They're being deluded, they're sleeping. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ مَنَامُكُمْ بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ From his signs are your sleep during the night and the day. النَّاسُ نِيَامِ فَإِذَا مَاتُوا وَانْتَبَهُوا People are asleep and when they die they wake up. The Prophet ﷺ said, Consider yourselves already dead people. In other words, wake up now. This is what Deen of Islam is to wake up. This is the, 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 the Dajjal system of which the pyramid is coming near to their completion. Really, they really feel that it's very close. They're talking about world government, world federation. The United Nations in our lifetime we've seen entering into countries uh, and completely dissing the sovereignty of these countries without any respect for national sovereignty that, that never happened historically you realize that either people invaded as an act of war and aggression but here this is a world police they're saying we're policing the world right and there's hadith in Tabarani about the armies of the Jijal wearing blue hats blue helmets now if you look on the uh, on the uh, if you look on the, the symbol of the United Nations, and this is where this one eye, the ray god, on this, the symbol of the United Nations is a spider's web over the earth. You see the earth, and then there's a spider's web, right? This is Bayt al Ankabut. Allah says in Surah al Ankabut that they literally, they are those who take awliya, min duni dad, those who take shirk take protecting friends other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are like the ankabut kamithri ankabut takhdabayta the ankabut that takes a house and then Allah says wa inna awhan al-biyut la baytul ankabut the weakest of houses is the spider's house now what has enabled the one-eyed and I am not saying Dajjal is TV or computers or these type things. There have been these interpretations. Uh, it's very dangerous to make ta'wil of these type of things. And I, I don't adhere to that school. But I do believe that these are symbols and warnings to the Muslims. In the same way that the Prophet said in a hadith sahih, and the kulli jarasin shaitan. Every time you hear a bell, there is a shaitan. This is an indication that Muslims should not go to public schools because they use bells to call the children is what's that you see this is what happens in the United States do they use bells here do they use bells you see this is what they're indoctrinating the children into this system 
But Muslims forget these hadiths. And if they know them, they just, oh, you know, oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> no, that, this is something serious here. It's like Muslims that gamble with, with things like, oh, brother, we should, uh, you know, in the United States,